Section 2, Java Programming for Beginners, Lesson 3. In this lesson, we're going to look at strings. Um, strings are a text data type. Okay, so if we want to store textual data, we use a string. I'm going to show you how to do that in Java. Um, now, just as a quick review, these are comments. Um, in Java, you need to have a, everything goes inside of a class. Um, this class is called main, so my file name is main.java. Notice it's capitalized. That's capitalized. And Java starts running from the main method. Okay, so if you're doing this outside of repl.it, uh, as you saw in the last lesson, how to get that set up. If you're using it outside of that, hopefully you know what you are doing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started here. And I'm just going to show you real quick uh, to print. I'm going to use printlin or printline, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to say Robert Smith, okay, who is the lead singer of The Cure. So I'm going to run that. It takes a bit. It's got to, it's got to compile that, and you should see on the screen Robert Smith. Now, that's pretty boring because every time it's going to be the same. So what we want to do is we want to create a string and use that as our variable first. Now, if you're coming from a Python background, you would just do something like name equals Robert Smith, and you'd be done. Um, Java is not so... Uh, simplistic. Uh, Java has its own style of doing things. So if I want to say that this variable is a string, I got to say it's a string. And then we cannot change it later. Okay, so I'm gonna say string. Notice the S in this case is capitalized because the string is a, it's an object, long story. Anyway, um, and then at the end of every Python, uh, Java line, um, I have to put a semicolon. So then down here, what I'm going to try is I'm going to put name. Okay, now, those of you who have done a little programming kind of know I'm, I are intentionally messed that up, but let's see what happens. Okay, so if you remember from the last lesson, anything inside of the double quotes is treated literally. Okay, so instead of, so it actually printed name. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take away the quotation marks. And now this name is same as that name. Notice I highlighted that and the system kindly highlighted that for me. So let's run that. Okay, now it prints out Robert Smith. Now I could say Robert Smith is the singer of the cure. Oops. And if I run that, so whatever I change the string to, it's printed out here. All right, so I'm gonna put that back to Robert Smith. And the next thing we can do with strings is now, notice I've copied and pasted system.out.println because I'm going to be using it so many times. Um, and then what I can do here is I can say name, that's the string, dot length. Okay, this will tell me how many characters are in Robert Smith. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Spaces counts, that's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So let's run that. And hopefully we should see Robert Smith and 12. Okay, there we go. So. Oh, oops, what we're going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and just print a blank line. Now I can put quotation marks here. I can just leave it blank, um, however you want to do it. And then in this part, what I'm going to do is just to kind of reiterate what I did earlier. So I'm going to put name. And as we saw earlier, that's going to print out just name. So what I can do, though, however, is concatenate the strings like we saw in the last video. Name. And let me run that real quick and see what we get. Okay, name, and we see Robert Smith. So again, this name is the literal characters, N-A-M-E. This inside the quotes is also capital N-A-M-E colon space. And this name is the variable that we declared up here. And again, we said it was a string, so it's being treated as a string. Again, notice the string has this method called length that tells us the length of that string. If we change that, it would, of course, give us a different number. Now, for those of you especially coming from a Python background, um, we can do this. It's a little bit longer, um, but it works. So string dot format name colon percent s. Percent s is for string name and that is that. So in Python, this is the same as, you know, so name.format, or sorry, yeah, so something.format. 
So it's very similar, but in Java, you actually use the class name and then the method, and then you pass two variables, two values to it, I guess. Um, the string and the percent %s tells you where name is going to go. So let's run that. We should get the same thing. Okay, pretty cool. Now, just to show you real quick, in case you're confused, if I put the percent %s here, we get Robert Smith then name. Okay, so the percent %s tells it where the string is going to go. Okay, so that's very, very important, the placement. Okay, moving on. Okay, and I'll leave that empty for now. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look at a, just a couple of string methods that you might find useful. Oops. So the first one I'm going to do here is I'm going to try hello. So I'm going to use a, and I'm going to put two upper case and parentheses. So what two uppercase does is it actually converts all the letters in here to uppercase. Go figure. Let's run that. Okay, so hello is in capitals. Now, if we do something like with uh, exclamation, oops, we do something with an exclamation point, notice an exclamation point doesn't have a capitalized version, it's just the same thing. So it kind of ignores that and just keeps it as it is. Okay. Uh, and then I can do the same thing here. I can do, let's see, uh, H-E-L-L-O. I can do dot two. If it's, we have uppercase, then we probably have, as you can see here already, to lowercase. And this is a very nice environment. It shows you uh, a lot of the different methods that you can use. And it's one advantage of using this system and other IDEs. Okay, so we had two uppercase and we've got two lowercase. So that's uh, a very, very helpful. Will come in very handy, I'm sure, later. I'm gonna put a little space. Uh, and then this last part is very, very important, substrings. Now, if you're coming from Python, we call these slices. Uh, but in Java, we're going to call them substrings. And you'll see this in a lot of different languages. Um, oh, actually, let me do one more here that I'm thinking about that. I could also do name dot to upper case. And if I run that, so we get Robert Smith capitalized or in uppercase. I'll take that out. Um, so yeah, so substrings. Substring is part of a string. So for example, let's say I have this, the following string, good morning, okay? And I wanna print out good. So I would do dot substring zero. You can see here, it kind of tells you how it works. Let's get back to that, dot substring. So we got substring, okay? We got the beginning index, we got the ending index. So substring, so the beginning is zero, and this is a weird thing for people who are new to programming. Indexes start at zero. So G is index zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So there are 12 characters, but the index of G is zero. So that means the index of this G is 11 because there are 12 characters all together. So if I want to print G, good, I'm going to put four. So let's see what happens there. Okay, so you can see how it printed out good. So from zero, one, two, three, and I chose four, okay? And we'll see why in a second. So I'm going to try that again. I'm going to do dot sub string, and this time I'm going to do 5 comma 12. Okay, I'm going to run that. Okay, this one gave us morning, because again, we started at G, 0, 1, 2, 3, space is 4, M is 5, so that's why we have a 5 here. And then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, notice this is 11. So we go one more. So 12 is actually the length in this case. So it's minus one. So this number is not inclusive, okay? So in this case, zero, you can't see it, zero, one, two, three. The space is not included. 
because it's one plus. Okay. And then we can also do like this. So good morning. We can do dot oops, substring. And I'm just going to choose one index. Okay. When there's one index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we should see the letter M. Oops. Okay, I was wrong on that, sorry. I was too used to Python. Um, so what this tells us is from that letter, 5, until the end of the string. Okay, so if I wanted to get, uh, let's see, let's try warning. <laughs> it's not a word, but let's try it. So 6 to the end of the string. Hmm. Okay, live and learn. Um, so I learned something new about Java today. Uh, so yeah, there you go. So that is one of the uh, ways that we can manipulate strings. There, there, as you can see from those drop-down lists, there are plenty more things you can do, but this will help you get started, I think, with some of the things that people might want to do uh, with strings, at least for now. So again, remember, you have to define the string. So string and then name equals something. Now I could have also done this, just so you know, I could have done semicolon, and I say name equals Robert Smith. So I can do that part separately. Um, now, if I wanted to change it, let's try that. Because again, I'm still kind of getting used to this as well. Um, let's see, I'll say Bob Mold, who is the front man of Husker Du and Sugar. And let's see what happens. I notice I got like some under underlines here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you know, I got another line. I guess it's it's happy with what I did. Um, so notice it was Robert Smith, and then we changed it. Okay, but you can't do this. And this is something that trips up uh, beginners, trips up my students. Uh, I can't do this like that. Okay, once I've declared it as a string, I only need to do that once. So I can declare and assign a value at the same time, or I can just declare it like I just showed you, like that. Put name. But once it's declared, you don't declare it again. You would change it. So let's run it and see if we get an error. Yeah, so you can see here, variable name is already defined in main method. String name equals Bob Mold. So it's saying this is already defined because we defined it up here. Now, if we take out the string, we can do that no problem. And there we go. Okay, so I'll take that out for now. And we'll leave that at that. So stay tuned for our next lesson. Okay, hope that was helpful. Take care.